Hey guys, this is Luke from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars custom minifigure build and review video. In this video, I'll be making the Star Wars Battlefront 2 Phase 1 Clone Assault Trooper, Heavy Trooper, Clone Officer, and the Specialist. All the minifigures that you're seeing right now will be needed to make these four trooper classes as accurate as possible, using only official existing LEGO pieces in order so that anyone can make them. Also, for those who are wondering, our opinion on this matter is that there is no reason why both the original Battlefront clone troopers and the EA Battlefront ones can't coexist in the enormous clone army, aka the vast galaxy of Star Wars. Anyway, if this is your first time watching one of our videos, be sure to check out this video in which I explain our personal headcanon view on all of Star Wars, the link will be in the description down below. From this point on, just sit back and enjoy the making of the Star Wars Battlefront Phase 1 Clone Trooper team, after which I'll be briefly reviewing them. So anyway, let's begin. Okay guys, so the Phase 1 Clone Trooper team is finally finished, and as you can see, I made them in the same order that they are in Star Wars Battlefront 2 when you're choosing who you're gonna play with. Since I wanted to add all the troopers that I could into this video, I put the plain white Phase 1 Clone Trooper, aka the Assault class, simply because he's also part of the 4-man team, even though there is nothing added to him. Now comes the Heavy Trooper, which is the most worked on trooper in this team, and by our opinion the best looking one, regarding the upgraded ones. The Z6 Rotary Blaster Cannon that he's using is a pretty simple build, but quite effective, and we've been using it for ages. On the back of the Heavy is a custom backpack, and I'll admit we stick the Republic symbol piece there with blue tack, which is kind of a hack. All in all, that will basically be it on him. Now the clone officer is the easiest upgrade here, because we basically took a random Imperial officer and gave him a movie version of the clone trooper face without the war cry prints on it, like the rest have. We added a clone blaster pistol from some of the first battle packs ever made, and even paid enough attention to give him the right Imperial officer torso that has the right rank on it. Now the last trooper is the specialist class, for which we didn't have white colored macro binoculars, so instead we used black ones in order for them to match the black pauldron and torso prints. We were going to use a regular white clone torso, but it was simply missing additional details which we wanted him to have, so basically Phase 2 Captain Rex did the trick. Now lastly, the First Order Snow Trooper backpack did what was needed for the clone specialist on his back. And that will basically be it guys on the Battlefront 2 Phase 1 Clone Trooper classes, excluding the Jet Trooper. You can basically do the same thing with any of the Phase 1 Clone Trooper types from all legions, battalions and corps, because the same class types apply to all of them. Anyway guys, this is it on the minifigure builds, and I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe. 
The link for a minifigure build playlist will be in the description down below, as well as the links to our mark and set review playlists. Also, we hope you enjoyed the minifigure slideshow now at the end. Anyway, remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video, you rebel scum. Have an awesome day, bye bye.